Hey everyone, I move a lot. I've moved a lot ever since I left my mom's place, which was in 2014. And I figured I'll, I'm gonna share with you my favorite moving tips today. The first one is plan ahead. Now that is a really, really important one. If you know your date, weeks or months in advance, make sure that whatever you do, have the move in mind. Whenever I know that I'm moving, I usually make sure to arrange everything. What do I mean by that? I usually make sure to declutter everything on time, to let go of things on time, to give certain items to certain people on time, to sell certain items in a timely manner. I just make sure that I'm ready, that I've got everything planned, that I've got my flight booked, that everything is in place for a smooth move. My second tip is to look at your life situation. And simply ask yourself, where are you moving to? Are you moving to a completely different country? If yes, what's the environment going to be? Are you going to move to a new state? Again, is it going to be a different environment, different climate? What clothing items do you need? Can you let go of certain items? Are you going to be moving from an apartment to a room? Or from a room to an apartment? Or from a small house to a big house? Or from a big house to a small house? Look at where you're going to be moving to, meaning the place that you're going to be living in and also the city and your environment that you are going to be living in. And simply look at what you can let go of prior to getting there. Third tip is quite simple. Declutter before you pack and take your time. I usually plan that out weeks in advance. I make sure that I donate what needs donating. I make sure that I give things away to people that I know can need those very items and I also make sure to sell certain items if I know I can sell them easily and if I know that I can get a decent amount of money from selling those items. I don't like to do those things last minute, I really like to take my time. And that brings me to my fourth tip, which is make a list. This is actually the first move that I've done that and I found it really beneficial. I make a list of everything that I need to let go of. Then I simply make a check mark, okay, this needs selling, this needs, this needs donating, this item I can give to my flatmate, this item I can give to this, and this friend, this item I can sell on this website, this item I can sell on this website. It's a simple Excel sheet that I make. I punch every single item in there. I define, you know, if it needs selling, donating, whatever. And then I also assign it to a certain month or week that I'm going to be doing this task. So I'm going to be donating this weekend or going to be selling this item this and that weekend. And that just makes it really, really simple. Also, if I know of someone who may need an item that I need to let go of, I can contact this person way in advance and I don't need to do anything last minute because when it's time to move, I've gotten rid of all of those items and I can move smoothly. Now onto my fifth tip. Choose a vehicle or item of luggage that's a little too small for your stuff. Why would I say that? I found that with having something that's a little too small or just about the right size that you're really only going to bring items that you're actually gonna need. If you go with a massive moving truck, a massive car or a massive suitcases or not just one but two three four five suitcases then chances are you will be bringing stuff that you really don't need in your new destination so going with something that's a little smaller will force you to reevaluate what you need and what you can actually let go of now my sixth tip is declutter some more yes you heard me correctly. After you went through everything, made a list, sold, donated, what have you, go through everything again and make sure that everything that you have will be of use at your new destination. If there is an item that is cheaply available at your new destination and, for example, is really heavy, so it's a really heavy item that's easily available at your new destination, then maybe just let go of it in an of course responsible manner 
and buy it again at your new destination. Also, if you plan to travel within moves, which I know a lot of people who do that, make sure that whatever you do bring will be of use, not only in your new destination, but maybe also on your trip because you don't want to move with a ton of access only to come back to it after your trip and realize, well, actually, I don't need half of the stuff that I moved with. It would be a tremendous waste of time and potentially also a huge waste of money to travel with things and move to move with things that you don't actually need. My seventh tip is pack it up. Now it's time to pack. It's time to get your suitcase, get your boxes, get your moving van, get your car, get whatever you have and simply pack it all up. I always make sure that everything that I do pack is secure. Items that are fragile are usually put between jumpers, cameras and whatnot. I always make sure that they are, again, between jumpers and t-shirts and, you know, sitting there really cozy. Anything that's really sensitive, I usually have in my hand luggage. That is usually my laptop, sometimes my camera, but I've also checked my camera. It really depends. I think this time around, all those items will be in my hand luggage. And that really is it. Now to tip number eight. Pretend you're living out of your suitcase, backpack, box, what have you. I usually pack in advance. I usually pack a week in advance just to see if everything fits, if everything works out the way I intended it to. And that also gives me time to do some last minute donations to sell some items last minute, to give items away last minute. You get the idea. And so I packed and whatever I'm using, I usually have either in my carry-on or in a special, you know, area in my main luggage. And those are the things that I will still be using after I packed, the week after I packed, if that makes sense. This time around, I'm going to be using my carry-on. Everything that I will be using the week after I packed will be in my carry-on. And those are probably also going to be all of the items that I will be taking on my big trip. So just make sure that you have everything that you still need after you packed, whether it's a day, two days, three days. Make sure that you have everything in one place easily accessible after you pack so that you don't need to look all over the place to find items that you still need after you packed everything up. Tip number nine, everything is perfect and now you really just need to make sure that you unpack everything, you can unwind, you can relax. Chances are you didn't take anything that you don't really need, there's no access, no hassle and you had a really smooth move, a smooth transition and you can go out and explore your new place and don't have to waste time decluttering now after the move or putting a ton of things away because chances are you only have items that you'll actually going to be using. Now this was it for me today. Have a lovely day. Let me know what your moving tips are. I'll see you guys next time.